Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Head Down. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. So we're going to start off with the guitar riff and then we're going to look at the chords afterwards. So the guitar riff has this lovely pattern going from the A string to the B string back and forth. And what we do to start with is we play three on the A string followed by five on the B string. I'm going to use those two fingers and we go back and forth six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then take that shape that you've got, move it up two frets to five and seven and play that pattern twice. So up to now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the next shape we need is seven on the A string and eight on the B string. Play that six times before taking that same shape, sliding it all the way down to fret two on the A string and three on the B string. And believe it or not, if you do that, you've got the full guitar riff. So let's slowly put that all together now. So afterwards we get this part that has no real guitar in it, but what we can do is play chords along with it. So it's a chance for you to be creative and come up with your own parts, but here's what chords we need. The first chord we need is a C major chord, which is three on the A string, two on the D string, zero on the G, one on the B, and an open E string. We then have a D major chord, which is an open D string, two on the G, three on the B, and a high E fret number two. Now, uh, there will be some strumming patterns that I'm gonna show you in a second, but let's get through all the chords first. The next chord is an E minor chord, which is zero on the E string, two, two on the A and D strings, and then zero on the rest. And the fourth chord we're gonna need is a G major chord, which is three on the E string, two on the A string, zero, 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 and a three on the high E string. Now just before I show you a few ways to strum those chords and to match up exactly like the track, if you're interested in getting the guitar riff uh, in a PDF form that you can download, as well as the chords and the lyrics matching up, then head on over to Patreon. There is a link in the description and you can get that just for a couple of dollars and it saves you from writing it out or trying to remember it yourself and potentially making a mistake. Now, when we get to the strumming of those chords, if we're following the rhythm that's on the track, it's kind of like these uh, almost like brass instruments, um, we could use this idea. Now, I think it, when it translates onto guitar, it doesn't sound as good as the actual track. Um, so you could do that, where you're just following that rhythm. So it would be the C chord. Then D, E minor, G. Yeah, it sounds a little bit rough, I, I suppose, but that's kind of the, the best way to sound exactly like the track. However, if you're, let's say, a singer and you want to strum along just the chords, uh, just a nice smooth rhythm, what you could do is this, C, D, E minor. That, in my opinion, sounds a little bit nicer and a little bit more for the guitar. So let's talk about the strumming pattern of that and what your right hand has to do. So we've got C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we've got six beats of C to two beats of D major. And the strumming is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, or up, up, regardless for that D major chord. And we just copy that for the E minor and G. So I'll slowly put those four chords together so you can see how it all comes together. So 
So there are not many other parts really. Um, it is just the same ideas, whether it's this or the chords, and it just loops around it a bunch of times. So basically just listen to the track, follow the structure and pick one and play it. However, if you want that full structure as well as the riff, that's raw out in tablature, then head on over to Patreon. So thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate it. I've just recently hit 2,000 subscribers, so yeah, onwards up to 3,000. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.